afternoon. It is such a pleasure to stand here and see you and, and all the young folks and um, welcome. My name is Carol Peterson. I'm a member of the Folk Heritage Committee. Um, one of 14 or 15 people on this committee and our mission is to we sponsor the Shindig on the Green and the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival. This is the 94th year of the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival, but you know what's more important than that today? It is the first year, the very first year, of the annual youth celebration, talent celebration. And that's what you folks, that's what you young people are taking a part in. And I hope your grandchildren will know that you were one of the group of musicians that took part in this first celebration. And I want to tell you a little bit about why we think this is so important as members of the Folk Heritage Committee. Our mission as a committee is to keep the tradition of mountain music, dance, and storytelling alive here. And that's, that's what you're doing every day when you go and work with your professors, your teachers, and you learn this great mountain music. Years ago, some of us will remember, Jerry Sutton will remember, Carol Rifkin will remember, Loretta Freeman will remember, Kevin Hamlin will remember, Judy Miller will remember, that we had what was called a Mountain Youth Jamboree. And this jamboree took part for took place for about 25 years in Asheville, and it was led by Hubert, Hay Hubert Hayes, he and his wife, and it was held at the Asheville City Auditorium. There were square dance teams and musicians, and it was young people, uh, both high school and middle school and elementary school young people took part in this celebration. It filled the, si the city auditorium. It was ev uh, during the spring, it was very exciting. It lasted for about 25 years. That's what we want to begin again with you folks. We want to start a tradition that will last maybe as long, maybe longer than the Youth Jamboree did. So we're very excited about this first annual Youth Talent Celebration. And your names are in the program. It's important. Take this program home, put it in your scrapbook, show it to your children, and tell them that you were part of this first celebration. We have some very special people here tonight. The teachers who, are te who have taught you either at the First Baptist Church Academy for the Arts or at the French Broad Valley Music Association. So we appreciate what they've done. And what I'm going to do right now is turn this program over to Josh Goforth, who as a young man got his start at the at the at the folk festival here in Asheville and he has put put us on the map he's a Grammy nominated um, award winner he's talented in 10 to 15 different musical instruments he was such an outstanding student at Madison High School that they let him lead the band not only be the drum major but be the director of the band and he he's a storyteller he's a musician he's a great teacher and he's going to take this program from here forward and lead you through what's going to be a very, very exciting afternoon. So welcome. We're proud of you. We hope you will be here at the second uh, youth celebration next year. And we look forward to many talents in the future. So thank you so much for being here and have fun. <laughs> Josh. Thank you so much. It's uh, my honor to be here with you today uh, here at the youth program for the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival. As she was saying, I got my start at this folk festival the first time I ever stepped on stage. And let me tell you, I was super nervous, no doubt about it. But I made it through, and it was the start of a career for me. So I'll always be thankful for the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival and the Folk Heritage Committee who put this on. Well, I'm just as excited as you to hear all of these youth performers, so I'm going to shut up and let them go. I'd like to start out, we'd like to start the program with this talented young fella here. He is 13 years old from Silva, North Carolina. He's been playing for five years. You all make welcome Mahine De Silva, everyone. So the first song I'll be playing is called Star of the County Down, and it's an Irish ballad, but I'll be playing it on the violin. <laughs> Thank 
right, so the next song I'll be playing is also another Irish song. And obviously, you guys, um, we have a lot of Irish music here because the Irish and the Scottish immigrated here. And so I felt fit that it would be good to play some Irish songs. And today, I'll be playing Irish Washerwoman, which is an Irish jig. Mahin De Silva, everyone. Wonderful job. Well, our next performer is from Leicester, North Carolina, and it is pronounced Leicester. <laughs> she is eight years old. Now, she's been playing for one year, and Mahin is a student of Brian McDowell's, and so is Miss Emmy, a student of Brian McDowell's. And she's been playing for one year, and Brian, are you going to back her up? Here's Brian McDowell, everyone. Give Brian a big hand. So everyone, please make welcome Emmy Davis. Emmy's going to be playing Cripple Creek today. I wish I could have played that good at eight. <laughs> that was awesome. Great job, Emmy. Well, our next performer is also from Leicester. Uh, he's 10 years old, and he's been playing music for three years. He's a student of Mr. Jerry Sutton's, who over there accompany him on guitar. Let's give Jerry a big hand. Please make welcome here to play the Squirrel Hunters, Judah Davis, everyone.
Our next performer is also from Leicester. Now, all these ones from Leicester, if you couldn't tell, they're all brothers and sisters. So it's pretty awesome, such a musical family. She is 13 years old and she's been playing music now for six years and she's a student of Mr. Sutton as well as a student of mine. So I'm so proud uh, of her. Would you please make welcome everyone, Miss Bela Davis. played on Mount Airy. Um, this song is called um, A Rose for Polly. It was from let's see, a man named Tommy Hunter from Madison County. Um, and I learned this by Mr. Sutton. I'll be playing one more. Um, this one's called Ivan Dord. I think it's by um, a woman named Obel Reed. I'm not so sure. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be singing it too. So this one is called Ivan Dord. Oh, and I'll be singing it, so I need to take my mask off. <laughs> all right, I'm going to step off the stage and do okay. it all by yourself. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. 
Bela Davis, everyone. Well, we have another Davis sister headed up right now playing the fiddle. She's also from Leicester. And I want to say she's got the coolest shoes ever. Show them your shoes, Sylvie. Aren't those awesome? Wow. She's 11 years old, and she's been playing for five years. She's a student of Mr. Brian McDowell's, who's going to accompany her right now. And please make her welcome, Sylvie Davis, everyone. Sylvie's going to play Shove the Pig's Foot a little bit further into the fire. Shove the Pig's Foot a little further into the fire. That's a good name for a song. Nice job, Sylvie. I want to say that uh, some of the students you're seeing here today are from the Academy for the Arts that's connected with the First Baptist Church here in Asheville. And we're so pleased to have our director here today, Karen Sorrells. Karen, could you stand up and let everybody see? Right here, Karen in the front row. Let's give Karen a big hand. She's a, uh, just, just been so amazing to be able to work at the Academy for the Arts, and I'm thankful to Karen to giving me the opportunity to teach there, as I'm sure all of the teachers who are there uh, feel the same way. If you, by chance, would like to learn some of these instruments and get as good as some of these kids, then please uh, check out the Academy for the Arts uh, online, and uh, we'll take any level, any age. I've taught everything from a five-year-old to an 84-year-old. All right, so we'd love to have you. Well, I'd like to introduce our next performer to you. He's from Old Fort, North Carolina. He just turned 15, everybody. So happy birthday. <laughs> he's been playing for five and a half years. Uh, he's a student of mine, and I'm so proud of him. Make welcome Marley Merritt, everyone. Thank you. Um, this first song is, well, it's more of a tune. But it's, uh, it's called Shenandoah. It's a bit of a traditional one, and I'm playing an arrangement by our very own Josh Goforth.
bear with me, I'm switching instruments. Uh, this next one is called Jack of the Wood. It was written by Jens Kruger, correct? Yes. And Jack will be accompanying me. Thanks, Marley. Well, our, uh, our next artist drove all the way here from Boone. So I want to thank his parents for bringing him all the way down from Boone. I think that deserves a hand. He's 15 years old. He's been playing for nine years. And uh, he's a student of mine. And I'm so proud of him, as I am all of my students. Please make welcome Asa Nelson, everyone. First song I'm going to do is called Maiden's Prayer. Thank you. 
Thank you. This next one I'm going to be playing is called Grey Eagle. <laughs> Asa Nelson, everyone. Woo. He plays that better than I do, and I taught it to him. <laughs> well, I am so excited because we got a band coming up. That's right. And uh, you better remember this name because I'm sure you're going to be hearing from them later on down the road. And, uh, of course, they're from Leicester. So our family from Leicester has got a band together, and they're coached actually by Mr. Brian McDowell, uh, who you've seen, one of their teachers, and they're going to perform a couple of songs for you. Would you please make welcome Newfound Gap, everyone? Okay, so the first song we're going to be playing is Cindy. Yeah. 
I could sew. So her in my pocket and down the road I'd go. Get along home, say Cindy, get along home. Get along home, say Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Um, the second song we'll play is Flyer, My Pretty Little Miss. Coming to a theater near you. You better watch out for those kids. We are so thankful to uh, also have with us from the French Broad Valley Music Association of Henderson County to welcome the Junior Appalachian Musicians Program. Uh, and I would like to introduce their director to you right now. She's been a friend of mine for many years and she's a wonderful advocate for our music. Please make welcome everyone, Carol Rifkin. And she's going to introduce everybody to you. Hey, y'all. I think what we're going to do, Bob, is I'll come out there. We need one chair. The fiddles all stand together. The rest of us will stand, and I'm going to have the kids introduce themselves. Um, we're a new program. We started uh, last fall, and uh, it was a difficult year, but these kids have really hung in there, and they're great. We have quite a few uh, quarantined who uh, weren't able to make it, and we're thinking about them and wish they were with us, but we meet every week in Jackson Park in Hendersonville in the uh, NC Ag Center. Jennifer Stanton, and 
this is my student, Miles. <laughs> Tell us how old you are. How old you are and your playing? full name, Miles. I, I'm Miles Kruger. I've been playing for one, about one, this is my first year, and um, I play the banjo. How old are you, Miles? At 10. I'm 10. Okay. I'm 11. I'm Ryan, and I'm 13. I've been playing fiddle for one year. I am Acacia. I am Acacia. You have to get close to it. I am Acacia. I am nine. Acacia Keller, and I am nine years old. And I think I've been playing for one year or two. I don't know. I am um, Abigail Kruger, and I. I am eight, year eight years old, and I have been playing, this is my first year. I'm just glad we don't have to say how old we are. I know, thank you. <laughs> We're going to play a little medley of tunes here, and um, I think, do, would you like to introduce the first, who's starting the first tune? Who wants to? We're going to do Liza Jane. Maybe I'll start the first one. Joe Clark. You start at four. Okay. <laughs> play shortening bread.
are going to play a crawdad song. a big hand for the French Broad Valley Music Association from Henderson County's Junior Appalachian Musicians. And you guys stay up here. Let's have all our other student performers come on up on stage with us. We're going to get together for one last number. Come on up, you guys. Everybody who performed tonight, come on up. And we'll get you set up. I want to thank a uh, special thank you to uh, Carol Peterson and Judy Miller, uh, who really had this idea to put this together. And I think it's a wonderful thing, and I hope it's the first of many. We want to thank, yeah. I want to thank all the other teachers. I want to thank you, the parents and family who bring your students uh, to their lessons. They're a joy for us as teachers, and we're so thankful to have them. This music is alive and well, 
And if you know young people that are interested in playing, get them out there and get them to a jam music program like this wonderful jam program or bring them to somewhere like the Academy for the Arts or other music schools. We would love to have them be a part of our musical programs. Uh, also, thanks to Stuart Reinhardt in the back for donating his time as a sound person. Thank you, Stuart. And thanks to Spencer and Bob for helping us. And also, I'd like to thank special thank you to Miss Bailey Brandon in the back, who's been our stage manager. Give her a hand. She's going to join us for a tune. Thank you all for being here. We are going to close with Soldier's Joy. Well, if, if we could we uh, please have the house lights up, I'd like for this great uh, crowd on the stage to see a standing ovation for their performance. I don't know. Thank you so much. I don't know who's prouder, the teachers, the parents, the students, or the community is going to be when they know that we have started again a youth concert here in Asheville connected with the Mountain Dance and Folk Festival. And what a great way to start. And thank you so much from our heart to the hearts of all these young people here. You're special. We thank you and we love you and we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Good night. <laughs>